Miss Fine, it's been two weeks. The mourning period has to end. Oh, it's just so tragic. I mean, it shouldn't have been. A lot of people screw up their first day. <laughs> now get out of those depressing clothes. No. I, I need to wear this. It's, it gives me closure. Besides, black is slimming. <laughs> and I'm going to need it. There's nothing more pathetic than a woman who eats out of frustration because she doesn't have a man. Do we have any more of this mesquite barbecue sauce? Because it's really yummy. You can just Ridiculous. forget it, Brighton. It's never going to happen. Oh. Never gonna happen. Just because I screwed up with Elton John, you're not gonna date me again? Oh, you meant Brighton. I won a radio contest, and the winner gets Brian Setzer to shoot a video in their house. Brian Setzer, I love him. He used to be a straight cat. I've been listening to him since the early 80s. Hey, is it true back then people used to listen to their music on some sort of primitive, large, black vinyl disc? <laughs> Only when we weren't enjoying our favorite pastime, child hurling. <laughs> Dad, it's... Uh, the answer, Brighton, is still no. But what's the big deal? I mean, it's three hours on a Friday night. Look, maybe your father has plans Friday night. Dinner for two al fresco at Nello's, starting with the fried artichokes, God willing. <laughs> no, I do not have plans Friday night. And I am not leaving this house. But... You want one? <laughs> she was walking in a bridal shop in Flushing, Queens, till her boyfriend kicked her out in one of those crushing scenes. What was she to do? Where was she to go? She was out on her family. So over the bridge from Flushing to the Sheffield's door, she was there to sell makeup, but the father saw more. She had style, she had class, she was there. That's how she became the nanny. Now the father finds her beguiling Watch out, CC And the kids are actually smiling Such what is it? She's the lady in red When everybody else is wearing tan The flashy girl from Flushing The nanny named Fran <sighs> I can't believe they won't let you have a cat in the dorm mm. Hey, you told me that your cousin had a pet and she went to Columbia. A chicken at the University of Bogota. <laughs> oh, wow, aren't you hot stuff? You know who you remind me of? Barbara Stanwyck from the Big Valley. <laughs> Fran. I just want to look cool for when they come to check out the house for the music video. You do. Oh, by the way, how can I thank you for getting Dad to say yes? Mm -hmm. Get your dad to say yes. Mikey, <laughs> you are so pathetic. I mean, he walks around the house all day with his guitar, and he doesn't even know how to play. Hey, you wear a bra. <laughs> hey, at least I've actually seen one. Oh, <laughs> don't you shut up. You're young adults. Stop acting like children. Hi. Come on in. <laughs> Who are you? Bobby Fleckman, VP of Record Promotion. Say hello to my assistant, Chloe. Hello, it's shh, nice. shh, shh. I'm talking on the phone. <laughs> oh, they're so sweet. They're so fresh. Come on, they're the hottest band in town. Don't you love Wu-Tang Clan? Uh, with chicken or pork? <laughs> Yeah, well, if you saw her, you'd understand. Brighten the record ladies here. I'm Fran Fine, the nanny. Well, wow, you're sure living fat. Well, I'm just retaining a little. See, I had some salty fish last night. <laughs> Shh. You, don't talk so much. Oh.